To see little children waiting in line to, to pick up a meal was something I, I never thought of Noah as needing to do. Kudos to all the wonderful partners who have either funded us or have given us all of these items. Um, and enabled us to then turn around and give them to the community. You know, almost everything has been donated, which has been great. And through the City of Boston uh, funding, we've been able to help uh, about over 500 families now with almost $1.7 million worth of rent relief uh, funds. And we're still um, processing those you know, applications fast and furiously. And it's very hard to hear, hear these stories, you know, because whenever I hear these stories, I kind of think, like, this could be my mom, this could be my dad. And the great thing about this assistance is that it didn't, it didn't require anybody to have, like, an immigration status, you know, it didn't matter. It was kind of just like, if you live in Boston, that's all we need to know, and we're going to assist you. People were just calling Noah all the time, like, hey, like, you know, I, I, got, I got selected for rent relief, like, what do I do? Like, I don't know how to fill out this application. People would appreciate knowing that we have done everything that we possibly could to try to help people. We've just been so focused on COVID this year and just helping everyone and, and just trying to make sure that our tenants and our community is safe, uh, both by cleaning and disinfecting all common areas in all of our buildings. Um, our, our maintenance staff has proven to be so great. I love them a lot. Working with, with our tenants and this time particularly has made me come closer with, with them and being able to checking in on them and just them realizing that we're not just landlords, that we are help, that we are trying to help the community and that we are uh, trying our hardest for them to be okay. I think this year I feel like Noah has really been at the pulse of the neighborhood um, with COVID and understanding not only our needs as staff members and, you know, and understanding individual cases, um, but then also in a much larger scale, support the East Boston community through an organization called La Colaborativa, which we've been partnering a lot with because the Chelsea Collaborative or La Colaborativa supports, you know, Chelsea, East Boston, Revere, and surrounding neighborhoods. And a large um, part of the community members they serve is East Boston. And so it just made sense. It started literally in my front lawn and um, we got phone calls um, from Whole Foods and Trader Joe's donating food because they knew that the need was dire. We, we were contacted by many people um, saying that they needed food and food source was very low. And so um, my mom is the executive director of the collaborative. And, you know, I, as a city council, I was like, mom, I'm getting so many phone calls from my constituents and I feel like we're not doing enough. In a matter of a day, we received tons and tons of boxes of food, um, two truck loads of food um, in front of our home. And so we just, you know, set up shop kind of a pop-up food pantry right there and the one of the first people I called was Manlio who is you know who's an organizer um, in NOAA and you know he has a very, very strong connections with the East Boston community as well and so I immediately called him and I was like Manlio you know we have tons of food here please I know that we've also been from the NOAA side from the East Boston side been getting a lot of phone calls um, you know, if there's any families that you know off the top of your head that we can drop off food to, you know, come here, pick up the food and we'll make it happen. And he was here instantly. And that's sort of kind of how it started. And then um, once we moved to another location in Chelsea, you know, Phil was always checking in and we were checking in with one another. And you know, she, he wanted to ensure that we're also supporting the East Boston community. And so as I'm there standing in line serving, you know, it started with some a number of 600 to where we are now is 11,000 families a week um, that we're providing 
you know, groceries for. Noah was able to provide um, not only food, but then we also did gift cards um, to su supplement some of the food costs or some other bills that they had that to support their their needs. And so to know that we are listening to the community and just being there for them, that for me has been such in, like an inspiring moment throughout this hard time that we're living in right now. The food distribution was in a organized in a way that we could get into homes hard to reach, hard to move, and families that with a disadvantaged communication, I could say. Uh, some of them didn't know uh, different places to go, where, and, and, and so with the volunteers we worked uh, uh, little by little uh, trying to get into these uh, uh, families. And that's how we ended up uh, having about 100 or so families coming once a week. So I knew some families were going to Chelsea, some of them walking. Uh, it was summer, it wasn't that the weather bad, but then let's say 20, 30, 50 pound box of food, do you wanna carry in the bus? How you gonna? So some families I saw them paying a taxi, you know? So if you can deliver from different place, so that's a, a money that they save and can be used for other things. We were really amazed at NOAA's um, community organizing capacity. So they consistently made sure that 120 families were there every Tuesday to receive the food. I remember there was like one day where it was like pouring down, raining. I was like, there's no way <laughs> that folks are, are gonna be out there. Um, you know, but, but Noah still made sure that people showed up and um, still put in the effort to be out there in the pouring rain. As a business, you never imagine a scenario where you're working side by side with a community organization to make sure that people have enough food in their house. And I think that it's really important to support organizations like NOAA who have shown that in a crisis, they can step up to the plate. I think we need more organizations on the ground with leaders like Manuel who know the community and um, sincerely want to do what's helpful, not just what the book says. What's really impressive to me over the past year, but probably should not be surprising given their history, is that NOAA hasn't backed off any of their initiatives to help people in East Boston, but they've actually stepped up those initiatives and provided more services to people during this time. When the city of Boston said, we need a rent relief program and we need immediate response because we just got immediate money and we're having an and a, a massive amount of people who are uh, going to be evicted because they lost their jobs. It was, you know, who do we call? We call Noah. Noah took the money and in, in terms of being able to implement that program and being able to move on it in such a way. And there are a lot of wonderful nonprofits. So this is not to say that there aren't wonderful partners out there, but Noah, Noah was the organization that had the expertise and the boots on the ground to get it done.